there guys and welcome back to the worst war machine channel on the internet i'm malorian and welcome back for another war machine battle report now this one here we went off back to the store this is the first week that things were open here locally allowing you to come back and play games uh, as you see here you have to be wearing masks and stuff like that and to be honest one of the biggest reasons i wanted to run in there is not only because i'm on like super withdrawal wanting to play in-person games uh, but also just the fact that I want to try out playing with mass because I'm thinking about running an event in July and I want to know about how feasible this is. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about that at the end, but uh, yeah, I'm going to be playing up against Jordan over there. He's been during this pandemic painting up his infernals. So this is going to be, I believe, his first game ever playing them and it should be interesting. So what the game's going to end up being, and we talked about the matchup before we even went out here, so we knew what it was going to be, is it's going to be Striker 2 up against Agathon. Now, I have never played against Agathon before, and but I do know all the scary tales about how she'll just assassinate you from across the table. So I did my homework, I looked into it, I know that I used to be... 22 inches away from every arc node, 24 inches away at the gates there, and what do you know, there's a gate, so that's a long way I gotta stay back, but at the same time, you know, I am striker, I got higher than normal stats, however, I normally would love to have some terrain to help me, and when I picked to go first, uh, Jordan put me on this side over here, and both the potatoes you see on the left, those are clouds, which really don't do much for me. Uh, at the time of deployment, I thought it was gonna help me, and and I'll get to the point later. I was like, oh yeah, it won't be. So I figure that if I can just keep going on this game, don't get assassinated, I can really put on the pressure. And then once I take out the four boaters so that the arc nodes are gone, then I can really start putting the pressure on to you know, Agathon and maybe getting off my own assassination. And if nothing else, you know, this might be something where because of all the angles and trying, trying to figure out what you're trying to do, uh, Jordan might just clock as well. So both these things are really what I'm going for. And we'll see if that really works. And for those who are looking for the list, they're down there below. But yeah, I mean, I pretty much have my main Bella group here on the left. Otherwise, I'm spread out here with my Legion of Lost Souls. And kind of the same thing for him, too. You know, he's kind of just more there in the center. He doesn't really have a lot going for his list. Uh, he also has, of course, some cultists with the three weapon attachments coming in from the side. Uh, my thought on that right now is who cares? Because they might come in, kill a couple of dudes. And then when I start vengeancing back, I'm just going to kill the whole unit off for free, basically. So I'm not giving them a lot of respect right now. All right, so going into the first turn, which, like I said, I got, I spaced things out saying, all right, where do I need to be so I'm not giving any free kills, staying the 24 inches away? Uh, to be honest, I probably could have been a little bit further because, like, see on the left side, it's not like those four borders could go up there and get really helped uh, because if they go up there and get within range for the gate to move, well, they're in their final location. So with this all, I probably gave too much respect, uh, not casting anything, just staying back so I can't be hellmouthed and dragged in and killed and all those bad things. Uh, put tough on the center unit of Legion of Lost Souls just to make sure that it's not going to have like a drifting shot killing me. Although I guess in the end of the day he probably wouldn't have done that anyway because then I'll vengeance up and be able to, to hit the gate. But yeah, being very cautious on this first turn. On his first turn then, he really just brings in a Desolator, so it's there, ready to do nasty things to me, and just being really, really careful here. So Regna brought in a Shrieker, things are moving up so that they're outside of my 17 inches. It's making me wonder if I should have been a little bit more aggressive and having it so that at least the gate was within 17 inches so I can get in there and do some nasty things. Uh, but unfortunately, I'm not in a position right now to threaten anything, so I'm not really too worried about that i'm just gonna walk up now in shield wall so that even if you want to hell mouth me you know i'm armor is gonna be pretty high here so you're gonna have to kind of boost some rolls and stuff but uh yeah I, I think i should be okay but i mean famous last words right 
So that's what I do. Uh, going across, I start with all my Legion Lost Souls. They're walking up. They're going up in Shield Wall, making it very annoying for you to try and deal with them. And then I got to Striker. And this is where things got very difficult. Because one, I realized there was nothing I could do to keep myself safe. I thought at first that, oh, I can be behind the cloud. Oh, yeah, true sight. Okay, I can try and build a bunker with that objective where I have my heavies and things. No, there's there's literally nothing I can do that is not in some way can't be pulled apart and he can get an angle on me. And then I was like, well, at least I'll just go back here in the cloud so that I have the uh, concealment. No, I don't even get that. And the thing is, too, is like I could be spending three for deceleration to make it so my troops can survive better. But at the end of the day, they're pretty kind of kept out here. And, you know, I think I need every single focus on myself to survive. So I'm just going to put myself here. I know I'm basically flapping in the wind and it's basically just base striker. There's not a lot of light of sight being covered here. I have a, her a hermit and that's really it. So we'll see what my opponent does. So the very first thing that's going to be helping decide which way this goes is um, really when Jordan looked at this, he's like, well, I, I think there's a potential assassination here. It's not good, but we'll, we'll try it out. And uh, if nothing else, I can always go for the trying to kill dudes. But really, he wants to just see how powerful this assassination is. So this desolator comes up, it sprays, wanting to reduce my armor, and very critically, even with the reroll, because he already started off by killing off his own cultists so that his... Uh, Orin, too, would be having a bunch of rerolls to give out. He missed Striker. So now I'm playing 16-16, not a 16-14. Really big deal, uh, but he's still going to try and do it regardless. So really what happens here is he starts going through, he pops his feet, he decided not to bring his ambushers this turn, he wanted to hold off, uh, mainly because he's going to be focusing fire on just my caster and doesn't want to trigger things yet. Uh, but really starts doing that, does some damage, I reduce it, does some damage, reduces it, and then really starts seeing that there's not really a lot there that he can really do. He could try it again, but I'm just going to go and hermit it. So he, he has brought me down to seven boxes, which is important because even though it's kind of like, oh, it's a failed assassination, well, it also means that Striker can't go Super Sai Saiyan without like killing himself, even with two dice right now. So that's important. So what he does instead is does some dark seduction gets me out of the zone on the left uh, gets onto his flag and basically says all right i'm going to score two points now the onus is on you so he's up two points striker's already hurting and now i need to get in there i need to get in there and rip him up now, there is one mistake that happened here. Uh, he did summon in a second Shrieker with Regna. Uh, turns out Regna can only have one, so we realize that later, but it's going to hurt me this next turn. Just know, like, look, guys, we're, we're coming back from playing nothing for a long time. It's literally his first time playing against in, or playing with Infernals, and it's not like I have a lot of experience yet either. So we kind of thought, like, maybe this is wrong. Didn't read the rules for another turn or two. So d just know that it's an error i'm just pointing it out so i don't get the comments down below all right so my turn it is go 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 and i actually think it goes fairly well you know basically i'm going up there with alexia three she does her buff uh go out there with throne he does his buff and then i just explode in there and so with that i'm able to kill the desolator in front of me i'm able to kill off the shrieker that was up close i was able to uh, contest the flag if nothing else i was able to kill off the foreboder and i was also able to kill off the gate so pretty good at, uh, attrition turn this was obviously my feet turn to make this happen uh, i also had to use the positive charge to try and make this happen as well and uh yeah you know if nothing else oh i also destroyed the objective so from all this i'm going to score my flag i scored from destroying the objective so now it's two to two i could have also tried scoring the zone on the right but I really needed that Lancer where it was, and now I really have to try and make a fort around Striker to keep him alive. I really feel there'll be enough pieces in his way that I won't have to really worry about it, but uh, yeah. 
Now, one of the things that didn't go the way that I expected is that I was kind of sloppy with my initial positioning with the Legion of Lost Souls on the right, thinking that with the feet, they're going to move more into the zone and away from ambushers. But uh, yeah, Striker would have to be way over there to do that. And I didn't really measure that out. So whatever, I'm not there. So Either way, at this point here, I'm looking at his army, I'm looking at mine, and I'm actually feeling really good. I'm like, I just did a big hit to you, you're down a lot of stuff, and I think that if you don't do too much, I'm now getting vengeance attacks, I'm getting in there, and I could really be cleaning these things up. So I'm probably going to be getting hurt this turn, but I'm actually feeling pretty good. Now, I want you to hold those happy feelings. I want you to take that positivity... Teep, take a big breath, and now look at this next picture. Ugh! Oh my god, this hurts so much. So, let's go through this series of pain. So, really going with this, you have it so that he's going in there with the cultists. Uh, I always call it the danger noodle. The Zoidberg weird one on the right. I always forget its name. Lamenter, maybe? I don't know. It goes in. He's getting souls like crazy. Um everything's doing work like that's the big thing for me to do my feet turn things are pretty bunched up so like Oren's going over there doing a big blast and killing five uh you know everyone's just doing their piece going there killing lots of models you know and then you're going in there with agathon and the hell and that's killing lots of things the sprays are going and the thing is, is like when it was first happening i'm like okay I get some vengeance. Oh, you got vengeance there. Okay, I'm, I'm losing more models. Oh my god, that whole unit's gone. That whole unit's gone. And so basically, I lost all my Legion of Lost Souls on the right and in the center. My left unit is down to just the Battle Priest. And also on the right side, I also managed to lose both uh, Ragman and Alexia 3. So, wow. Not only was this turn devastating, but he now scores two more points, his own flag in the right zones. So now it's four to two, and he has so many souls, he's getting like 18 souls next turn. So, I look at this, I realize there's literally nothing I can do here to to go for the assassination. I mean, maybe I could go up there and try and take some shots. She has one camp, but she also has that shield guard there. And that really means it's just not really possible. I just realistically can't kill her. So I'm going to do what I can. So if this was a tournament, you know, I got to get the points where I can. So I can test up there, make sure he's not scoring his points. That's kind of more vindictive than anything. Uh, come over here, Throne. He's going to go and kill off the one dude by my flag, then repo back on. So I can score that one point and contest over here. Otherwise, what I'm doing is I go up there with Striker and say, let's do this. I mean, this is after Gallant goes up there and uh, tries to take out the Desolator, falls short. But I take one shot because I got two guns, man. I got two shots of Striker. So first one shield guarded. Next one, he just takes it. You know, I bring him down to four boxes, uh, but it really, we all know what's going on here. We looked at this, we talked about the options. It's really super simple. Like I said, he has so many focus this turn because of so many souls. Those Lamenters, I mean, you get them in the right spot, you're just feeding your Infernal Master so much. So after a couple of magical blasts and I even try and save myself with the Hermit, it doesn't matter. I'm dead. And there's the game. So, final thoughts of this and how it kind of went, you know, going into the game, I kind of felt that this is one that, yeah, this is playable, I can do this, but I think the biggest thing here is that, no, it is not playable. This is so bad. Now, I can be smart, and I can do what I, I did, and made it so that I wasn't assassinated until basically my force is dead, so that's good, that's, that's the first step to try and beat Agathon, but the second step is that my list, at least the way it is right now, just gets destroyed. If, if Agathon doesn't need to kill your caster, she can just kill everything else. And, you know, of course it would help if I didn't have, let's say, drop one unit of Legion Lost Souls, 
put in a Moro and Archon, try and protect myself. But even then, you know, I feel that she can just kind of kill those Archons as well. So I, I kind of feel you kind of have to go something a much different build. So I'm going to have to go back into the tank. You know, if nothing else, fellas, this was fantastic. I got out there. The mask kind of fogged my glasses sometimes, but honestly, it was not that big of a hassle whatsoever. So I'm feeling fantastic about that because it probably means that I can actually hold an event in July here. So that'd be great as long as the numbers stay low. And just again, to get out there, and I mean, like, War Table's great, but you know what's even better? Just playing in person. So, that was fantastic. Look forward to be getting these battle reports now more often as I'm actually getting real games in. And otherwise, you know, if you have any comments and stuff, you can put those down below. But, uh, yeah, otherwise, we'll catch you later. Bye.